Okay, now it's time to meet up with Tatiana. I mean, Eva. I mean, I don't know what the hell I mean. Uh, speaking of which, I wonder if Snake finds it comfortable running around in his trousers since he uh, kind of wet himself a bit. He must stink like crap right now. Have we got anything around here? <coughs> I'm losing my voice again. <coughs> <coughs> Rather, I got a croak in my voice again. I always seem to these days. <laughs> I have no idea why. Okay. Tatiana? Uh, Eva? Uh, whatever you want to call yourself? Should be around here somewhere. Wait. Is there anything in here? There's a hole. What are you? Crab? No, a frog. I don't want a frog, eh? How the hell do I get up there? These holes under in the uh, walls lead you there or something? Let's just go in and see where we're going. Wow, it's dark. Ah, uh, no, because we lost all our stuff, didn't we? Ah, uh, we just came back out again. I guess we can't go in there, I guess it leads to nowhere. So how does one get across? Can you climb this? There we go. I knew that to be a way somewhere. Holy hell. Is this a wrong... Uh, did I take the wrong route or something? Good doggy. I don't know where the hell you are, but leave me alone. Any items? Nope. I think I can see you. Is that you, doggy? Oh my god! Run! Can you go in the water? Can a doggy not swim? Uh oh. I'm getting holded by doggy. I'm not liking it. Oh, I see light! I see a door too. Is, is there anything in there? Can we go through? No. Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm 
we trying to remember how the hell you defeat this guy. Uh, I don't really remember. What I do remember is that this part is really cool. I mean like all the ghosts and stuff of the soldiers and the bosses are things that you've killed in the past throughout the game. And like if you've killed like a lot of things, a lot of soldiers, then there's more ghosts that you have to avoid. But yeah, I'm trying to avoid that and all. But uh, here's the pain. Go away. But yeah, I don't remember how to uh, get past this battle though. It's been such a long time. Um, I think at the end they like cut you off from going any further. Um, so I'll go at the end, and uh, meanwhile try and remember how the hell to get past this part. Here comes the uh, fear. I think the fear is a cool character. Kind of reminds me of Auron from FF10, but that's probably because of the hairstyle. So yeah, everything that we've walked past and trying to avoid. Oh my god! The things that you've killed throughout the uh, game. I'm gonna get hit by that again. But yeah, this is a really cool part of the game. It's really cool. A straight down low. Oh, here comes the end. Nice parrot. I think I vaguely remember now actually how to get past this part. Um, but I'll reach the end. If you want to get it over with straight away, just get killed by everything, and when the game over comes, just use the revival pill. But I think you get a camo if you reach the end. Uh, where the Sorrow's body is. So I'm going to aim for that. Oh, there's the Fury. Yo, dude. That means the end is nigh. So we'll get killed once we reach the end. Wait, I think that's I think that's a Sorrel's body there. In the water, I think that's his body. And that's his body, that's a Sorrel's body down there. Right, we'll walk into it and we die. However, we can use the revival pill. We should also get a camo, hopefully. Boss, you have to shoot me. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then you'll have to shoot me. The spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday.
Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yards. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yards. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. <laughs> Got it. See you there. Okay, so I guess we now have to head for the waterfall then. And there's another carotoid. Um. No items. I go this way. I guess I'll be suicidal. Nothing, so we shall uh, go around here, I guess. 
Can we shoot the... The butterflies? I guess not. That's wasted all of my bullets, more or less. Good job, me. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm sure we can get over here. That's not what I had in mind, though. I'm assuming we gotta go on there. How do we get to climb some trees? That's what I wanted to do. Crap! That's not though! That's... Jesus. I have nothing. See me, right? Oh, that's a waterfall. Turned around. No, no, leave me alone. No, no, fog. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Yes, yeah, snake, just, just get under the water. This is where we have to be, isn't it? No, can't go any further. Ah, oh, crap. On my food. Oh, that's a bloody waterfall! It's like, what are you doing? I'm trying to make you swim faster. Don't dive under. Where am I supposed to be going? That's a bloody waterfall! to swim. Is he dead? Oh, so that's not the waterfall. I thought it was, but it's apparently not. I bloody looks like the right one. Oh wait, I see- I even see a path! There we go, here's the right one.
nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. Want some? No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Hmm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> what a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. Snake. Thank you, Snake. What a I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. <laughs> what a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Snake, come here for a minute. There's something in here. When did it get like that? Hold still. Let me do it. You know, I've been trained to do this mm -hmm. kind of thing myself. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how smart it is. Yeah, but it gets the job done. Really? Here, lift up your hips. <laughs> like this? Yeah. How's that? You're pretty good at that. Yeah, everybody tells me that. Hold steady, I'm not done yet. There, a transmitter. Uh, is that how they do it in the KGB? Sometimes. Would you rather I did it American style? <laughs> but how'd you know there was a transmitter lodged there? That's some female intuition you've got.
Uh, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohad's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohad itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohad's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me.
Well, there we go. Uh, I hope you kind of well. I hope you like the uh, the pictures on the wall when she was trying to get the transmitter off. I knew something might happen if I leave the transmitter in. I couldn't really remember, but yeah, like I said in another video, um, yeah, it only happens if you leave the transmitter in after the uh, torture scene. So. Okay, so let's progress. Yoink. Can't forget food here. But we can pick that up. Ah. Uh, oh, we got our uh, uh, gear back. Let's. Uh, thermal probably, maybe. Come on, box. Um, okay. Weapons. We do not need a fork, or do we? Should we keep a fork? We need a knife. I want my knife back. That's what I want. I will get rid of the frog. Where's the mouse gone? Hey, ratty, ratty, ratty. I don't know, I've gone miles away already. Anyway. Come here. Let's climb. Back into Grasnigrad. Can't get back down there now. That's for sure. What the hell is that? Oh crap. No, not me. <gasps> Holy hell! 
What is that over there anyway? Oh my god, hello. Typically, that's a dog sleeping is what it was. Oh god, no, no, leave me alone, no, fuck. I don't really remember which way I'm supposed to go. That door's kind of close. This could be the way though. Come on, through the door, through the door! No! Oh, there's a door down there though. There we go. Forgot for a sec. <laughs> uh, I triggered everything off again, but yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Stealth thing? What stealth thing? Can't go for that. Oh, hello. No! I was nowhere near him! I see the door! What the hell? Get back up! Go away! There we go. We are where we need to be at least. 